Well, that um, tomato plant's really doing well. There's my little cherry tree. A yellow apple tree down there. You got those uh, hot pepper plants around it. This tree's about to grow out of its little confinement, which is cool. The other two trees back down there are not as big. Cool, there's some hot peppers there. Um, I need to cut that grass and let it mulch some more down there. I forgot and left this open one day and it and it hurt a couple of them. Just too hot for them. <laughs> cool. They're doing good. I just hope the oil doesn't get done there. I did cover it with plastic in case it rained. It's surviving. I think it'll make it. I'll have to put some more down here because the it's washed down a little bit around the root base. Maybe put some more. Cool. This tree's about to grow out. We have to make a a bigger pin for it for its protection. These are the blackberries. Got one uh, tomato plant. This one is the kind that you buy the this this is not the onions that you typically buy that you can plant and grow. Looks like it's going to seed. Huh. This is the stringed onions that you buy at the store. That's doing really well. Probably can't see it on video. Oh, there it goes. There is some kind of bug eating at it. You want that small screen, that's kind of weird. That's my uh, green grape. I'm very happy about that. It's my transplanted little red apple tree. It's doing great. It's cool. And I got some strawberry here. I probably gotta stick some horse manure down around that to give it more food. Need to do that to everything. My little yellow fruit, or uh, what you doing in there, spider? Oh well, that's my lemon tree. My other lemon tree is really growing tall. Oh, that's beautiful. So I gotta do to this, I'm doing to the Granny Smith apple tree. Put a, build a box for it. see some kind of bug eat part of the leaf.
Oh yeah, and that's my Fuji apple. Of course, I didn't show it or say it. I put another one of these covers on it. This right here, because it was growing pretty tall. I'm not sure what that is. But um, the cantaloupe around it is growing pretty good. And this is the wild bird seed. There it is. That's the strawberry plant. Cool. A little blackberry. going about a foot long if you count all that cool my beautiful red maple tree awesome my turnip greens for some reason that one right there is dying I'm not sure why but the other two are doing good that's a pepper plant carrot and of course that one right there is a carrot Got some kind of melon plants, pepper plants. <clears throat> That's from the wild bird seed. I get a few of these come up, but. <clears throat> This uh, chicken corn, whole chicken corn, it's not doing so good in sunflower because it doesn't have enough fertilizer in it. That's what I think. Because I got other stuff that does have fertilizer, it's doing a lot better. This is by the chicken pen. So I water this the same amount. And the wild bird seed I planted down here. And it's a lot greener because it's next to the chicken waste. And I picked off pieces of this and chickens went after it. I'm surprised they like it. The other grass they didn't want. That wild grass. I'm debating on pulling all this up to save water. Making it mulch for the the romaine lettuce and collard green and strawberry raised garden bed. Yesterday was pretty hot. It was 89 in the shade. So you can imagine what it was in the direct sun. Some leaves have been damaged every day. But the new ones are, they survive a lot easier. That wasn't just for one, from one day. It was probably two weeks time. Cool, have a good one.